What is going on? Brian Mello here over at Marty's Buick GMC. And today we're going to take a quick look at this 2015 GMC Acadia. We're going to go over the exterior features, we're going to go over the interior features, and then if you have any questions at the end, by all means, let us know. We will be glad to answer those for you. So let's jump right in. Starting with the front, of course you get your GMC signature grill with LED projector headlights. I'm sure you have noticed these driving around on the road. The headlights are very dynamic. In fact, let's fire it up. We're gonna use our key fob, which you can see right here. Hopefully that'll focus in. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Sometimes my camera's a little grumpy. It looks like it's gonna. Uh, so what you're gonna do, just hit the lock button twice. Press the remote. That's gonna fire it up. You can see those LEDs pop on. Now you are gonna see a flicker in the camera. It's just the way the camera picks up LEDs. It's not actually flickering. Uh, it's really, really nice look. Adds that extra accent to it. I'm gonna shut the truck down. Just press and hold the exact same button. Shuts the motor off. Walking around the front. You have your 255-65 R18 Goodyear tires on GMC Signature wheels. Going around the side, chrome door handles. Up top you have a uh, mounting rack. Throw bikes up there, you can throw one of those thule racks up there, skis, whatever the case may be. Ready to roll. Stepping around the back of the AKD, you can see you do have rear backup sensors. Makes life a little bit easier, especially nowadays where things are just getting bigger and more complicated. Uh, backup sensors make it nice and easy, as well as your backup camera. You might not be able to see it, but the camera hides right here underneath the back. Makes parking a breeze. Trailer hitch components are hidden right underneath this cap right here. Uh, keeps everything a little bit nicer looking. Uh, if you do need to do a little bit of towing, that's there for you. Jumping back to our key fob again. See if we can get that to focus in. There we go. I'm gonna press this button here on the bottom. Up she goes. Let's take a look inside. These are your floor mats. She's brand new. Floor mats are still wrapped up in the back. Plenty of storage space. And one thing I really like about the Acadia 2 is how quick and easy it is to put the back seats down. If you need more storage, you're gonna throw something back here. Maybe it's uh, Christmas time, you're gonna pack this thing to the roof with presents. Simply grab the lever there and push. One finger. Uh, it will lay flat. That back, that uh, captain's chair is just pushed back, so it's not going to fold all the way flat for me. Make my life difficult, of course, but same thing. Just grab it, throw it down. It'll lay flat. I want to pick it back up, just grab the strap. Up it goes. I'm holding on to a camera with one hand and doing everything else with one finger. It doesn't get much easier than that. You also add hooks if you want to put any netting over it. Uh, whatever you have in the back. Power outlet as well back there. I'm going to press and hold my button again. Be lazy. There's also a button on the hatch as well. I just like to use the key fob. Going around. I'm going to back up, give you a nice side view. See what it looks like there. And yeah, let's dive into the back seat. Helps if I unlock it. Quick press on my key fob. You got your two captain's chairs in the back. White stitching down the seats. Adds a little extra contrast. You can see you get your third row. You also have this really nice glass roof up top. It's got a vent shade over it. Open that up. Cup holders on the doors. And of course these slide back and forth. You're also probably looking at the plastic on the floor. That does get covered up for the most part with the floor mats, which are still wrapped in plastic for you in the back. Let's dive around, jump into the driver's seat. I'm gonna use my remote start one more time. Fire it up. Jump inside. 
remote start's probably one of my favorite features to be coming on these things now, especially with brutal summers and even worse winters. Stick my key in the ignition. You can see my IntelliLink display fire up. Now I'm going to work my way from the left side of the Acadia to the right side of the Acadia, going over most of the features. Like I said, if you have any questions at the end of this video, by all means, let us know. We'll be glad to answer those for you. So, starting on the left, power windows, power locks, power mirror controls. Headlight controls, which for the most part will be left in auto mode, so you're not really going to have to ever touch this knob unless, uh, for some reason, you want to turn the headlights on and off manually. Leave it in auto, make your life a little bit easier. Ambient interior lighting controls increases or decreases the lighting inside the vehicle. Turn your dome light on and off. Obviously, turns the dome light on and off. Up to your steering wheel. Cruise control, on, off, resume, set, whatever the case may be, however fast you want to go. You want to go faster, tap the button up. You want to go slower, tap the button down. Over on the right, Bluetooth hands-free controls. This does all your voice dialing. You can see if I press this button. Say a command or say help. It's going to ask me to say a command. I don't want to say a command, but you can navigate through all the different commands. There's a ton of them. We can show you um, the most common ones if you come in and take a look at the car. Behind those controls are volume up and down for your audio, and these right here will go through the, the source, uh, so AM, FM, XM, whatever the case may be. Up top, gauge cluster. Pretty standard. Over here, your IntelliLink display. Let's turn it on. We've got some music playing already. I'm going to hit the home button. AM, FM, XM, Pandora, Stitcher Radio, um, OnStar, navigation, text messaging, picture viewer, the list goes on and on and on with this thing. Um, definitely something that you want to go through with your sales guy. Um, view all the options. I could do a whole video just on the IntelliLink display, but I'm not going to bore you. So let's go with, it's a great, easy to use intuitive system that will do absolutely everything that you possibly want your vehicle to do. Underneath that, these four buttons navigate through different info about the Acadia, what's going on, how many miles you got left till empty, um, door lock, controls, all kinds of information. You can see it actually corresponds up there. So you just tap one of those buttons and it's going to tell you all the information that's going on with the, uh, with the Acadia. Below that, climate controls. Below that, heated seats, rear wiper, traction control on and off, towing mode, open or close your hatch with this button here, USB and power output there. Throw this back in the park. Got some uh, screws for your license plate. We can leave those in the cup holder. Two cup holders here. Armrest, which can slide back and forth and adjust as needed just by pressing this little button here. More storage. Also, one thing nobody ever shows anyone here is another storage unit up top on your dashboard. Glove box over there on the right. And if we jump up top, you have a power moonroof, interior LED lighting, and of course your OnStar equipped mirror. So that is your quick rundown of the 2015 GMC Acadia SLE2. As always, I thank everybody for watching. And like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, want to know more, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.